The Stanford Cardinals are in Boulder tonight. They're taking on CU. Yeah, it's dubbed the Space Game, celebrating the 75th anniversary of the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics at CU. And the game also happens to be the night before a rare annular eclipse. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon explains what makes this eclipse so unique. A sense of marvel. A fantastic phenomenon summed up in a few words. Transcendent, beautiful, um, and communal. And recreated at CU Boulder. Eclipses are just transformative moments, right, where the sun doesn't do what it should be doing for three hours. Dr. John Keller, the director of the Fisk Planetarium, knows just how special Saturday is. It's a big deal for the United States and for North America because it's one of the few eclipses that we'll see in these next 20 years. The last eclipse we saw in the States was 2017. This is a science on the sphere um, provided by NOAA. Keller says the path of the annular eclipse this weekend is predicted to start after 9 a.m. in Boulder and reach its maximum around 1030. Those times will change slightly if looking at the sky from, say, Denver or Puebla. Let's go with a clear sky and hope for the best. We won't see the entire eclipse from Colorado. We'll have an 84% eclipse here in Boulder. But from inside the planetarium, we can travel to New Mexico in just a few seconds. Can you take us to Albuquerque, Nick? And see the full picture. You'll see a perfect annulus, a perfect ring, ring of fire. It's the second to last chance to see an eclipse from Northern America until 2044. We have one more next year over the lower 48 United States. Uh, and that will occur on April the 8th. It'll go from Texas to New England. Dr. Stan Benjamin, who's been researching weather for the past four decades in Boulder, is extra excited that the effects of Saturday's eclipse will be the first one seen in NOAA's weather forecasting. So the weather models now will also incorporate the eclipse that will be coming up next April over the eastern U.S. No matter how advanced the science is surrounding the eclipse. It's great to share astronomy across our entire globe. Saturday morning is the chance for Coloradans to stop and stare with protective eyewear, of course. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7.